Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Office of the District Medical and Health Officer, District Health Society, Resubel Para, on Tuesday celebrated the 10th anniversary of Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karyakram, or RBSK, in the state. The program was held at Multipurpose Cooperative Society Hall, Mendi Pathar, North Karo Hills. Speaking in the day-long program as the chief guest, NGH's Deputy Commissioner A.K. Singh lauded the health department and other stakeholders for the successful completion of 10 years of RBSK in the state in general and the district in particular. He also lauded and the effective implementation of RBSK. The Deputy Commissioner further urged the gathering to participate in the awareness program and strive to maintain the set goals under RBSK. The Assam government to launch Rs 23,000 crore project Gohati. Assam government will be launching statewide 10-day Vikas Yatra from March 1. The Yatra will be part of the government's ambitious plan to lay foundation of 2,776 projects which are being constructed at a cost of Rs 23,000 crore. Also, several completed projects will be inaugurated. A total of 1,812 projects will be inaugurated and the foundation of 964 projects will be laid during the period in form the tourism minister Jainta Malla Barwa. He also informed that rupees 1,510 crores under Assam Mala 2.0 has been accorded administrative approval for construction of 12 rural road projects. Assam has declared Kaji Nemu or the citrus lemon as a state fruit of Assam. State Agriculture Minister Atul Bora on Tuesday made the announcement. On the seventh day of the budget session of the Assam Legislative Assembly, Minister Atul Bora stated that this announcement will definitely shine the fruit on the global map and also boost the self-dependency and production of the fruit in the state. Atul Bora praised the state government's decision in this regard and also reflected the government's commitment to preserving indigenous fruits. Police has rescued an infant who was abducted in broad daylight on Sunday afternoon. The one-and-a-half-year-old baby girl was abducted from Kanapara flyover. The child was rescued and abductors were arrested on Sunday evening. Police Commissioner Diganta Bora informed that the parents reported the matter and police investigated the abduction and arrested three individuals. Bora said that with the lead given by the parents, the police swung into action and arrested the three suspects, including a woman from Fatasel Ambari in Guwahati. The kidnapping plan was hatched by a woman who resides in Fatasel Ambari. Police has registered a case against the accused trio. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting UAE and Qatar to attend various programs which is aimed to deepen India's bilateral relations. During his visit, he will also inaugurate the first Hindu Mandir in UAE and address the Indian community at a program in Abu Dhabi. I am travelling to the United Arab Emirates on an official visit from 13 to 14 February and to Qatar from 14 to 15 February. This will be my seventh visit to the UAE and second visit to Qatar since 2014. Over the last nine years, our cooperation with UAE in diverse sectors such as trade and investment, defense and security, food and energy, security and education has grown manifold. Our cultural and people-to-people -people connect is stronger than ever. I look forward to meeting His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, the President of UAE in Abu Dhabi, and hold wide-ranging discussions on taking forward our comprehensive strategic partnership. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. Thank you.